Okay, I wanted to uh, start out this video by saying that I don't normally do these types of videos, and I think people who do these types of videos maybe start out by saying they don't normally do these types of videos. I don't know, but anyway, I'm being honest, I really don't do these types of things because I hate nothing more than scrolling through Facebook or YouTube or whatever and seeing somebody just ranting about some political garbage or some media biased or something that's just been overdone and, and the, I mean the horse has been beaten to death so not no, something I would normally spend the time to do I normally I don't have time to do stuff like this but I'm gonna try to make this short and sweet uh, this is something that I noticed this morning and, and I found it kind of troubling um, I subscribe to PolitiFact to the website I mean to the uh, Facebook page for them I normally really like them because they they, they seem to post a, a good spread of anti-Republican, anti-Democrat, anti-everything, and positive, you know, when they do tell the truth, too. So it's actually, it, it just seems to be a very unbiased source, and, I, and I've always liked it, liked it for that fact. You know, they do put in uh, a little bit, a little word here or there to show their bias, and, and but, you know, they're only human. So give them a pass for that. Okay. Anyway, I haven't, I don't interact with them a lot because I'm, like I said, I'm not very political, you know, um, so I don't see a lot of their posts because that's how Facebook wor works. If you don't interact with a page by liking, sharing, or commenting, then Facebook isn't going to show you many of the posts from that page. And I understand that. But I have been seeing lately a lot of anti-Donald Trump posts on my wall. And from PolitiFact, and it's starting to bother me a little bit because I'm thinking, okay, well, they're posting all this anti-Trump stuff, but there's, they're not posting any anti-Hillary so they're losing their bias. So I uh, made a comment, you know, th and then I went to their page here and I made a, sh a pretty shocking discovery. So uh, anyway, just to show you what I'm talking about, and just to preface this, I, I am a Donald Trump supporter, but the only reason I am a Donald Trump supporter is for this very reason right here. I don't particularly like him, uh, but, you know, I voted for Obama for the last eight years, but Clearly, the media and a lot of media outlets are just trying to to influence people's vote and paint a bad picture for him. So anyway, just to show you what I... Okay, here's my Facebook wall. And I did a control F, a, a control find for PolitiFact. And the way Facebook is, it doesn't show up until it's in view. I think they just... All the content that's not in view of your screen is hidden somehow. So anyway... When it does show up, there's going to be a little orange line, like you see about right here. There's going to be a little orange line that's going to show up here in the scroll bar, and, you know, then that's telling you that PolitiFact is showing up. So there, I did that so I can just page down really quickly to the first post on my wall that's shown up, or you know, organically from PolitiFact. Now we're starting out. I, I've got it set to where it's the most recent. So you can see, you know, we're looking at five hours ago, five hours ago, uh, five hours ago. You know, it's four in the morning right now, so there's not a lot of people posting, which is good. Um, we're still going down. You can slow this down in the video and just to make sure that I'm not skipping over a bunch of PolitiFact posts. It's going down, trying to find the first post by PolitiFact. You know, it'll show up orange there on the in the scroll bar once it pops up. Okay, should be getting close. Should be getting close. Any minute. Let's get some posts by Donald Trump himself. Okay. I'm almost there. I'm, I'm starting to recognize these. Oh, there we go. Now you see right there, you see it's showing up, those little orange lines, and that's telling me that PolitiFact, that word, is found right here. So this is the first post on my wall that has come up 12 hours ago. Clearly anti-Trump post, Donald Trump, top 10 misleading claims which he has a lot of misleading claims, so, you know, no big surprise there. All right, when I saw this, I'm like, what the heck, PolitiFact, where's the anti-Hillary? So, you go down more. 
going down, 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 down. And you can see not much, not many PolitiFact posts. Uh, nothing else. Okay, well, let's go to their page real quick just to show you. Okay. When I went to their page, I noticed, wow, they I don't see a lot from them. My Facebook only is really censoring PolitiFact, which, like I said, I don't interact with them, so that's just how Facebook works. They want these these companies to pay to promote their posts. You know, they're a public company. They're trying to make money. Okay, well, PolitiFact posted something three hours ago, you know, six hours ago. These are all, like, senator things and uh, Congress things, blah, 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 you know. Marco Rubio, blah, blah, blah. Okay, all right, boom. Here's the Hillary, the, you know, the opposite to this Donald Trump one. Top Donald's top 10 misleading claims. Here is Hillary's top 10 misleading claims, which was posted 10 hours ago. I didn't see that one. Facebook did not show me this one right here. Well, maybe it was a fluke. Maybe, you know, they just picked one and it just happened to be the Trump one. Now, I, I can give them the benefit of the doubt. But when I started looking at the analytics of these posts, like if you look at this one, 174 interactions, 87 shares. Donald Trump, 1.1 thousand interactions, 667 shares. So that was 1.1 thousand versus 174. 1.1 thousand and versus 174. 87 shares versus 667 shares. Huge, huge difference in the amount of people that seeing this ad right here or this post by PolitiFact versus people that are seeing this post by PolitiFact. Okay, maybe people hate Trump that much or maybe people just could care less about Hillary that much. So I kept going just to see what the other Hillary and Donald post how they do so going down okay here's an anti-donald trump another anti-donald trump post 1.5 thousand interactions 748 shares here is one that kind of benefits hillary or mentions hillary predominantly as a thing which is true you know it actually helps her only 274 207 interactions and 57 shares very low versus the humongous ones 1.5 thousand for 748. Let's go see some more. Here's a anti-Donald Trump 952 interactions, 313 shares. So this one's been seen a lot too. Going down, um, vice presidents, senators. Okay, here's another Donald Trump anti-Donald Trump 1.2 thousand interactions, 353 shares. Okay, let's see if we can find a Hillary one. Uh, here's a Hillary one. This one actually is one of her bigger ones. 422 interactions, 108 shares. Still not a lot, but it's you know a lot more than she would normally get on a post that's about her. Which at the end, you know, it's, it's a one that that favors her, saying mostly true. Uh, here's the one about Trump exaggerating, anti-Trump. Not a lot of of, of um, flight on this one. But it does, you know, focus largely on Hillary. But anyway, you know, that, that one actually kind of disproves my theory. But let's keep going. Okay, here's one for Hillary. Half true, making her look bad. 41 interactions, 15 shares. Not a lot on that. Okay, keeping going. Another anti-Hillary. 77 interactions, 17 shares. Okay, here's one anti-Trump. 1.3 thousand interactions, 655 shares. Uh, another anti-Trump. 592 interactions, 120 shares. So that one wasn't as big as his normally are. Um, it goes on and on. You know, another anti-Trump, 1.7 thousand interactions, 939 shares. So my point is, just going through here, and you don't have to take my word for it. You can go look at it yourself. But we'll go to PolitiFact's page. And just going through here and looking at the posts that were anti-Trump, 
and then the posts that were anti-Hillary or even pro-Trump and pro-Hillary. Just the posts that were about Trump and the posts that were about Hillary, the ones that were about Hillary, good or bad, have very little interactions and very little likes. You know, I mean, very little shares. But the ones that are about Trump, good or bad, have lots of interactions and lots of shares. Now, it's safe to say that the majority of things that PolitiFact is posting is negative about the, the uh, candidates. Because they're news media, negative sales, so they're going to do the negative stuff. And so, you know, this is just what, what's troubling me is it seems like Facebook is censoring what they're showing. They're not showing me all the anti-Hillary stuff. They're showing me the anti-Trump stuff. And that's how it's been for the, you know, like I said, for months. Because all I've seen is, from them, is the anti-Trump stuff. And and not anything that was about Hillary. So, my theory, this is just a theory, that is that Facebook, if, if anything is mentioned about Hillary from PolitiFact, it's buried. And it, the analytics seem to show that, that, you know, you're, you're talking Trump's post are getting seen by thousands of people, whereas Hillary's post are, are just getting seen by nobody. You know, 77 interactions, 17 shares, you know, 11 comments. Uh, like I said, just could be could be uh, nothing. I'm using a small sample size here. It could be just a theory or, or, or me being, um, uh, you know, looking for something that's not there. I don't know. But anyway, I just thought I'd share this video and um, see if anybody else noticed this because I, it, it, I just don't like the fact that these quote unquote media organizations are, are just promoting this agenda and using propaganda, you know, to try to sway people's vote, you know, paint a picture of people, you know what I mean? So anyway, that's, that's all I got to say. Thanks for watching.